today we're gonna freeze dry baby spinach. It was on sale. So we're gonna throw it in the freeze dryer. Um, there isn't a huge water content in these, so you can really load up the trays. Just gotta make sure it will fit into the slots in the freeze dryer. And, and it's super easy just to add this, kind of treat it like you would uh, a spice. You can add it to all your salads. Uh, you can add it to all your spaghetti sauces. Um, it's an easy way to sneak it, sneak it in. Um, we'll probably, I'm probably going to put part of it through the food processor so we can hide it even easier for the kids so they don't realize they're eating it. <laughs> And so one bag fits two, two trays pretty good. Um, and that's it. We're just going to pop it in the freeze dryer and let it do its thing. So we're down here at the freeze dryer. I had it pre-cooling. Uh, the drain valve is closed. So we're ready to load it in. You can pre-freeze the spinach if you want. I, I didn't today. I didn't have time. Um, and there isn't a huge water content uh, in the spinach, so it's not going to add like a huge length of time to the process. And basically it just needs to fit in well into the freeze dryer, into the tray. I have it in with some, some other greens today. I'm not doing anything custom with the settings, I'm just letting the machine do its thing and then we're going to check it when it beeps and see if we need to add extra dry time. So we're down here at the freeze dryer, the vent's open. Um, I opened up the chamber already. You can see the spinach pulling out. So I was kind of curious on how this was going to go. Definitely loaded the tray very full. So that's one of the trays. So you can see the different color. It is not wet. It is completely dry. So moving forwards next time, uh, sometimes with different herbs, um, it's good to change the dry temperature to a lower setting than the default. Um, I will probably do that the next time I do the spinach. Uh, taste wise with the dark piece, versus the dry piece or the light, light green one, tastes exactly the same, so it's just an appearance that it looks different. And yeah, the dry temperature I think would correct that. So we're gonna pop some of this in the food processor and package it up so it's easier to disguise for the kids in some of our sauces. So we're here with the spinach. I've just loaded it into our little tiny food processor. Um, grind it up. literally just looks like dried herbs that you cook with. So I'm going to put it into a Mylar bag and we're going to sneak this into all the kids' foods. And I got an oxygen absorber popped in there and I'm going to seal it up when I'm all finished with this. That's it.